Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's uh, final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 29th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extra GFS. It's them ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. But the next four weeks gets us into the middle of June. I'll get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video's there is our 6 10 UK weather forecast. We've also leased the ECMD 42 there. And if that was the UK, I did that was up a, a, a latest update for spring as well. So, it's been a busy day at Gaspar today. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you, Shosh, everyone, for uh, doing that. We've reached 19.7k. Uh, so, thank you, Shosh, everyone, for getting us our latest 100 within 19,000 subscribers. 19,700 means that we are less than 300 subscribers away now from 20k. So, thank you so, so much, everyone, for getting us 20,000 subscribers. And uh, please give us a sub. Let's push on to 20. <laughs> Thousand, blimey, big channel that isn't it? Thank you so much, everyone. Right, let's start off with latest info map from Earth, no school .net. High pressure is up towards Iceland, and winds are coming in from an east or northeast direction. That will bring quite a bit of cloud into the east. Best sunshine will be out in the west. Central temperature is uh, sitting at 12.6. That's 1.4 degree above 61 to 1990 average. That's per visual to yesterday to the 17th of May. No, that's per visual to Saturday, I should say. These were GFS of red temperature amplification ensembles. The next couple of weeks on London Day. Red line is the third year of air temperature out of London. Starting off around to below average with the upper air temperatures over the uh, next few days and continuing really throughout the ensemble grass. It does look as though we're going to a cooler period because the sun's very strong this time of year so when the sun's out it won't feel too bad but when it's overcast and particularly if it's raining then uh, it will be a little bit on the cool side with uh, those upper air temperatures like that. Precipitation wise well, it's going to gradually turn more unsettled over the next few days and particularly into bank holiday weekend and next week starting to see some rather the large temptations by it's a cooler and more unsettled into May looks to be on the way. Tropical Tippets is down today, unfortunately. So we can't show you the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next uh, five, seven, you know, 10, 14 days, etc. Um, so uh, hopefully they'll be back tomorrow. Tropical Tippets normally quite reliable website, so I don't know what's happened. Maybe there's some extreme weather going on in America that's because uh, it's an American based website, really, Tropical Tippets. So Pat says some extreme weather going on in America that's uh, uh that's uh, caused the server to um to slow up or something. But anyway, hopefully those anomaly charts will, will be back tomorrow. So let's start going through the chart data. This is the latest UK met Euro run is looking uh for midnight on Thursday, low pressure of Scandinavia, high pressure between Scotland and Iceland, mostly dry, um, and again, if the sunshine won't feel too bad, a little bit cool, though, uh, if it's overcast. And uh, probably by night. Into bank holiday weekend, so I turn more unsettled. This trough heads in. That brings some showery rain in with it. Free the bank holiday weekend looks a little bit more mixed. Icon, once more, brings down that north northeasterly at the end of the week. Into the weekend, low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Actually, Icon more unsettled, I think, than uh, the UK Met, suggesting with this low, the potential but potential for some very wet weather across England and Wales. Then we've got the KMA. Again, gradually breaking down that ridge, turning more unsettled as well. Uh, beyond that, though, into the end of May, beginning of June, the Azores High fights back. So could we see uh, the Azores High trying to get back in again uh, by the beginning of June? Possibly. That brings some warmer weather into the south of the north, still looking quite unsettled. Let's see what GFS is doing then. So again, the uh, midnight GFS run, bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic at the weekend. That brings showers and longer spells of rain in with it. That's back on in Monday, low pressure out to the northwest, bringing some wet weather across the country and looking rather showery as we move up towards day 10 as well. Low pressure in Scandinavia, high pressure out in the Atlantic. Winds coming in from west or westerly direction. Looking pretty uh, mixed there through next week. And on into the beginning of June as well. Um, but we do start, uh, start to see signs of a change as we get into the opening days of June. So low pressure is out to the west of the UK, but heights are trying to build to the east and trying to draw up more of a sun 
southerly flow. The wind begin to shift round into a south or a southeasterly there. As we go through into the 3rd of June, that starts to try and draw up some very warm air for south. Got plus 15 Celsius ice berm in towards northern parts of France, but very quickly below, deeper to the west of Ireland, pushes that, uh, that sort of mini plume away and turns us cooler. But a bit of a hint there, perhaps, of some uh, hot weather at the start of June from a, uh, from a very brief Plume. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? GFS 6 said, uh, looks like this show into the bank holiday weekend. Again, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing showers along to Bell's Bay. It looks particularly unsettled in the northwest. I'm still not sure, even now, how much rain there's going to be down in the south, the southeast, I have to say over this bank holiday weekend. The charts look quite unsettled, but I reckon the rain going to struggle to get into South Beach. I heard today that it hasn't rained in um, Bernie Keane was talking about this on the, on, uh, on Radio The Fact. He, he was saying that it hasn't rained in Chelsea. It's start Chelsea Flower Show, I think, uh, today. And it hasn't rained in Chelsea for 10 weeks, apparently. So that is unbelievable, isn't it? That's a drought. That is a real, proper definition of a drought, isn't it? No measurable rain for 10 weeks. Blimey, they must be absolutely parched down there. It must be light similar to that here in Mattel's. We've had very little, but not quite that extreme, I don't think. But anyway, I'm still, I'm still not sure how much of this rain is going to get into the cell. And the selfies, but uh, we'll know more about that in the next couple of days, of course, with short range six and broadcast. Anyway, into the um, end of the month, well, high pressure trying to build back up from the southwest again, low pressure is away to the northwest. And we do get more of a high pressure influence. Look at this into the beginning of June, definite signs of the Azores high trying to reach back in again. Azores high fighting back uh, there. We end up, GFS6 said, looking like that. So, again, a lot of dry and warm weather down in the south. A little bit more changeable up in the north. Is for GFS. <coughs> so, sorry, everyone. Is the GFS starting to pick up on uh, a warm and dry, drier, warmer start to June? Maybe. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather this and get them to subscribe to you. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Uh, again, we've reached 19.7k, so thank you so much, everyone, for getting us to 19,700 subscribers. Going to push on now and see how quickly we can get to 20k subscribers. Of course, 19.8k is our next mini target so if you could give us a sub and tell friends and family to subscribe that'd be awesome and of course gas updates will be starting in about a month's time so or less than a month's time now it'd be about three weeks time i think so um if uh, you're interested in the weather for the gas will be festival make sure you sub to the channel and uh, again thank you so much everyone for doing that right gm again with uh high pressure declining at the end week. Low pressure beginning to move in from the Atlantic over the Bank Holiday weekend. Looking rather changeable there on Bank Holiday Monday. And beyond that, while well, low pressure keeps on coming, that gets us to day 10, which is 29th of May. Quite a big area of low pressure just to our west, um, suggesting an unsettled, potentially quite wet end to May. And then we've got the ECM looking like this and rounding it all off. So low pressure moving in from the Atlantic over the bank holiday weekend. Looking rather changeable with outbreaks of rain. That lasts into uh, next week as well. But gradually through next week, heights begin to build to the southwest. That's the Azores height, of course, down there towards Spain and Portugal. And as we move on into... The end of the month was some quite hot air sitting across France, plus 15 cells ice firm there, plus 20 cells ice firm in across Spain and Portugal. And the high pressure, well, builds more strongly to the beginning of June, starts to slip eastwards as well. And the winds switch round to the south. So that's the second of June, high pressure to the east, low pressure to the west, winds coming up from the south, plus 15 cells ice firm into that southeastern corner. I would say that looked potentially a bit volatile there. That's about to get to with the uh, ECM 3rd of June. High pressure is to the east northeast, low pressure to west southwest. Winds are coming up from the south. I've got plus 15 south ice berm into south beach. That almost looks like uh, a Spanish plume and potential for um, 
uh, you know, quite hot temperatures. 15 Celsius iceberg at the beginning of June probably gets a temperature in the southeast towards 30 degrees. So that could be our first properly hot weather of the year. Twist again today. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometcho.com. Again, we're seeing a lot of dry weather over the next few days. Some showers down in the south midweek. Uh, and then we get through into the end of the week. And that's when we start to bring outbreaks of rain across the country from the Atlantic. That does suggest quite a decent, uh, quite a decent soaking for the south and the southeast there on uh, Saturday into Sunday. Um, so that would be really helpful, really useful, of course, if it verified. Uh, Bank holiday Monday and beyond that looks quite unsettled too. So there is definitely some rain on offer for the weekend and into the, and into the beginning of next week, I should say. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 2nd of June. 21 members of the ECM ensembles with quite a bit of load pressure in from the Atlantic, but 16 clean the control and the operational run with high pressure to the east, low pressure out to the west. That will bring the wind up from a southerly direction. Warm, potentially very warm, potentially very warm, you know, but also potentially a bit volatile. And 14 with low pressure over the country. That looks uh, really unsettled. In two time, these are the options that we've got, and it will get us to the 3rd of June. 21 members of the East Channel Songs again with low pressure out to the west. Uh, 16, low pressure out to the west, high pressure to the east. And 14 with low pressure to the south. They all look a little bit mixed, but this middle option is the uh, warmest. CFSB2, and then we're done. These are 500 million of our high songs. Break it down into week periods. First week period will take us from the 19th to the 25th of May. Next week, we have high pressure way to west, northwest, low pressure south, south, east. Winds coming in from. Uh, and east or northeast direction, mostly dry but a little bit on the cool side. Week two will be the 26th of May to the 1st of June with low pressure to the north, high pressure for a southwest winds coming in from a flat westerly direction. Week three <laughs> it looks like that. Second to the 8th of June, high pressure to the northeast and to the southwest, lower pressure coming through here. And then finally, week four will be the uh, 9th to the 15th of June. High pressure then out to the west of the southwest. Low pressures through here. And winds will be coming in from a northwesterly direction. So a little bit cooler and a little bit more changeable there in the fourth week. But still you'll notice there is quite a bit of high pressure in the third and in the fourth week. It's been severe, but the Azor sign is never all that far away. So we'll see. Time will tell. And we'll keep you updated. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals. Well, get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going for 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and a 10 to 14 day as well. So please keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.